DNA replication is a process that is happening constantly in our bodies. New cells form and old cells die all the time. Attached to the backbones pointing inwards are nitrogenous bases, pairing in a specific manner, adenine with thiamine and cytosine with guanine. So DNA replication starts at the origins of replication, which is where the helicase begins its work. The helicase is the enzyme to firstly untwist the DNA strand and then unzip it by disrupting the hydrogen bonds. So, after the helicase unwinds the helix, it creates a replication fork, which is where the DNA replication takes place. Additionally, the unwinding of the helix creates torsional strain further ahead in the strain. And to help combat this tension, an enzyme called topoisomerase helps by breaking, swiveling, and rejoining DNA strands. This parent DNA strand in the top provides a template for the daughter strand, which in this case is called the leading strand, and it synthesizes continuously in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. An important aspect of the DNA replication process is the anti-parallel structure, meaning that the direction of replication is opposite for each strand. So now, an enzyme called the primase allots an RNA primer to a certain location in the parent strand, and this is where the replication process begins. Another enzyme called DNA polymerase comes in and bonds with the RNA primer, and together they create the new complementary strand. The DNA polymerase moves along the DNA parent strand in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, and as it goes, it adds nucleotides to the complementary strand, and bonds together the nucleotides from the parent strand and the newly formed complementary strand, as initiated by the RNA primer. This replication process goes in, in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, on the inside of the replication fork. The parent DNA strand on the bottom provides a template for the daughter strand, which in this case is called the lagging strand. Similarly to the leading strand, the primase comes in first as well as the RNA primer to start the process. To elongate the other new daughter strand of DNA, this replication process grows at the origin. Rather than simply moving continuously and conjoining nucleotides from the parent strand and daughter strand, this process is done in chunks. Each chunk is an Okazaki fragment, and each requires its own primer in order for the polymerase to synthesize each new fragment. Essentially, as soon as there is enough empty space, another fragment is built in the lagging strand. This process continues until there are five fragments, although we only represented one. Next, after each fragment has undergone the synthesis process, DNA polymerase goes back and replaces the RNA primer nucleotide with a DNA nucleotide, which which ensures that the new complementary strand is composed entirely of DNA. Because polymerase cannot join the last nucleotide of one fragment to the first nucleotide of another, an enzyme called the ligase goes through and connects all of the nu nucleotides. This completes the lagging strand and the DNA replication process. Both of the parent strands have synthesized and that has resulted in the creation of the daughter strands which are bonded to the parent strands. Thank you!